a VST that allows you to enhance or augmentate drums. Hmm, sounds interesting. Trap Tendo. So today we're gonna check out this VST by Waves Audio called Torque. All the information will be in the description box and let me know in the comment section if it's worth it or not. And we're gonna explore it because I saw the demonstration by Focus and I really wanna see if it'll be worth it or not on more of a personal standpoint versus just seeing him check it out. So let's go. This is Torque in the flesh here. And again, this is made by Waves. And the GUI itself is it's pretty simple. I do have a track, I'm gonna go ahead and play that. And it's more of an organic hip hop track, so you know that we can actually hear the tonality and the tone shifting. I'm gonna go ahead and do one thing, and the first thing I'm gonna do is mute audio of the sample now I got enough space to talk here and I see the drum line is pretty heavy I mean you, you even see that it's peaking right here but as you also see that it's being soft clipped so you don't have any peaking here so <laughs> that was one thing that I saw a lot of people complain about in the focus video but whatever <laughs> so you got this knob right here and just listen to it as it tone shifts. Bring it back up. Now let's boost it. So more or less, you could pretty much, like with the times when you do music production or whatnot, you might have your, your drum bus or your drum line or whatnot. Of course, I have everything in my drum rack right now, except for like bass or anything like that. So that way, you know, you can just change just the tonality of your drums. So let's see what happens when I add torque trim. Okay. So I guess that's basically you're you're messing with the volume here. And of course you can adjust the volume right here as well as the on the output. But what I'm really curious is about the speed. Drop the speed down to fifteen again. Mess with the threshold. Seems like a form of compression here. Set up B. Then you have the focus area right here where you can mess with this. And you can hear at which hertz here. So the further I take it down, get more bass. I don't know how useful that would be. Of course, moving this left and right, you can you can hear like like what is more present. bad and there you have it so overall impressions of this I think it's pretty decent plug-in uh, just let me know in the comment section how you feel about it the usability, uh, I guess it could be good if you really want to shift all your drums at once, depending if you are using that 
on a drum bus of course you know if you're using a drum rack in Ableton it makes it a little easier for you to do that but if you are a person that like to put snares on one track or you know etc etc you know you can just put one or more torques on whatever part of your song or track and yeah it has some usability to it um, price wise I guess at when I copped it at $29 it was really good uh, seems a little steep at $69 as the regular price but you know not not the worst price for for a VST effect especially if you're really into uh, augmentating your drums and such but that's it I'm DJ F and I appreciate you for your time thank you for watching this first look video Trap Tendo